Hello everybody. Ready to do some baking today. I'm ready. It's a little bit of a less uh, sunny day outside, a little darker out, so I'm like, this is the perfect day to kind of stay inside, do some baking, make something delicious. So today we are going to be making some granola. Um, and this recipe is really easy. Um, it's kind of like a one bowl recipe, um, but it makes for a really, really nice, crunchy, flavorful granola with some craisins and some coconut and maple. Really, really good. Uh, it makes a really great gift, too, if you wanted to like put it in a nice little jar and make a label. Um, or you can keep it all for yourself and eat it as a snack. So I think we should jump right into it. Um, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you probably got one of the kits from the library. Um, so if you got a kit, you should have two cups of oats, you should have a teaspoon of cinnamon, you should have a half a cup of maple syrup, yum, um, two tablespoons of brown sugar, what else, one teaspoon of vanilla, um, a pinch of salt, I think I gave everybody a teaspoon of salt. Um, you don't have to use all of this, you could just do like a pinch, no worries about that. And then the add-ins are the uh, dried cranberries, also known as craisins, really, really good. They add a nice little texture and sweetness to this. And my favorite part will be the um, unsweetened shredded coconut, and this is going to get nice and toasty. It goes really well with the craisins and the maple, the cinnamon. Um, it, it makes for a really nice, well-rounded, flavorful granola. So I'm really, really excited to get this recipe started. Um, as I'm giving you this intro here, my oven is preheated already to 300 degrees. Uh, so that's good to go. So if you haven't done that yet, get your oven preheating. Um, because this, the, the part where we mix everything together is a pretty quick process. Like I said, it's kind of a one bowl, one shot uh, type of recipe. Um, so oven preheated to 300. Um, the other thing you're going to get in your kit is a sheet pan like this um, and a piece of parchment paper. Uh, like my other videos, you might need to cut your parchment paper down a little bit to fit the inside of your uh, pan that I gave you. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you just want it big enough to kind of cover the bottom of your pan that will just help the granola not you know burn or stick to the bottom um so that's what mine looks like right there i just cut it a little bit more just trimmed it a bit um so other than that i think we should uh we, we preheated the oven to 300 i'm gonna move on to step number two and show you guys how to combine everything all right you guys moving on to step number two toss the oats cranberries shredded coconut cinnamon and salt in a large bowl um, so let's do that first. Those would be our dry ingredients. So I've got my two cups of pre-measured oats here. I'm gonna dump those in. I've got, in hindsight, maybe I should have used a slightly larger bowl, um, but it's okay, I will make it work. <laughs> but maybe err on the side of using a larger bowl for this, if you can. Um, all right, got my oats cranberries. Do, do, do. I think this is about a fourth a cup of cranberries. Um, you, I kind of really packed them in here, so you might need to break them up a bit, like so. And shredded coconut. This is a half cup of shredded coconut. Woo, it smells so good. It smells very, like, tropical and it's very, like, a nice, warm smell. Okay, we're going to sprinkle that in. What else? We need cinnamon and salt. So we've got our one teaspoon of cinnamon again pre-measured i'm just going to kind of sprinkle that in there and then we've got our pinch of salt so like i said i gave everybody a teaspoon of salt i'm just going to take a little pinch of that maybe a little more i'm going to decide not to use all of it if you want a slightly more saltiness uh, salty flavor to your granola um feel free to add all of it it's really depending on your taste um all right, so we're gonna combine those. So you can, if you want, if you're brave, use your clean hands to combine it. Um, I'm going to use a spatula, just so I don't have to get my hands all covered in cinnamon. And I'm just mixing this evenly, making sure, you know, all the cranberries and the coconut are evenly distributed there. No big clumps of, of uh, cranberries or anything like that. 
This already smells so good. <laughs> All right, so we're mixing. We're mixing. All right. Add the maple. This is still part of step number two. Add the maple syrup, brown sugar, vanilla, and stir to combine. All right, maple syrup. We've got our half cup here. Yum! Smells like pancakes, but it's going to be a really nice maple granola. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle that all in there. And if you have a little spatula, you know, some of this can kind of stick to the inside. Feel free to scrape that out. All right, what else we got? Brown sugar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Again, we're going to kind of just evenly sprinkle that like that. Get it all out. And finally, our teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. This recipe smells so good. Oh my gosh. Drizzle that in. And that's the recipe. It's really everything in one bowl. Mix it up, stir it up. Um, again, I'm going to use my, we're going to combine this stuff. I'm going to use my spatula for this part also. But again, if you don't mind getting your hands nice and sticky, go for it. I mean, it, it you can mix things very evenly using your hands and uh, what we're trying to do here is really just making sure all of these oats have some are, are moistened with the uh, with the wetter ingredients. So we don't want any like big you know dry clumps of oats. We want to make sure it all has some some moisture in it. Um, so really mix this up. Get the maple syrup and the vanilla all evenly distributed through there, so everything looks pretty moist. And it is going to be a sticky kind of a <laughs> a little messy experiment but uh it's worth it it tastes so good at the end and it smells so good when it's baking so i'm kind of just like scraping from the bottom kind of like folding it basically scraping from the bottom pressing down a little bit on the top to make sure everything's getting some uh maple syrup on there making sure everything's getting slightly moistened lovely lovely this is already so beautiful looks good it pretty much looks it looks like granola but now we have to uh bake it we're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes i'm gonna keep an eye on it um when i bake it because there is brown sugar in it um we it, it does have the potential to burn so i'm gonna peek at it every so often if i see that it needs to come out before 45 minutes i'll pull it out um but we're looking for like a lighter golden brown color on there all right, so mine, you can see, it's not any like big clumps of dry granola. It's not gonna be like totally saturated wet, but everything is pretty moist in here. It's got a nice coating of the maple syrup vanilla, brown sugar mixture. This smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. Um, all right, so now we're going to move on to the next step which is step number three, and I'll grab my sheet tray and I'll show you guys how to press it in there. Okay, you guys, step number three. Press firmly into pan and bake for 45 minutes. Let granola cool completely. This will ab help, help obtain a crunchy texture. Um, so that I'm gonna do exactly what that said. I'm gonna first take my moistened granola here and I'm gonna dump it into my pan with my parchment paper already uh, cut and measured to fit in there. There it is, and, oop, sliding around in my pan like that. So now I'm gonna take my clean hands and I'm going to pretty much spread it out evenly and press it down a bit. I guess you could use a spatula to do this, but at this point I'm already kind of sticky. I'm just gonna use my hands. Um, and I'm just pressing, making sure I mean, I'm not like totally completely packing this down to like a really dense layer, but I'm kind of just patting it down, making sure um, it's, it is an even layer. Um, it should go all the way to all four corners. It should go to the edges. Um, the layer of granola itself is about like maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Um, so I'm patting, I'm patting. You can see here, I've got this nice even layer of this granola mixture here all right that looks great that smells amazing um so now we are going to bake it for 45 minutes and like i said i might peek in there a little bit before that um i'm gonna keep an eye on it and see but 45 minutes is usually about the average 
um, but I'll, I'll keep you posted on how long I, I leave it in there for. Um, and we don't need to stir this at all when it's in the oven. Um, we want it to get a nice even golden brown, lighter golden brown on top, and then we're going to take it out and then still don't stir it once you take it out. If you let it cool completely, that's how you get those really nice crunchy clusters. Those are my favorite. Um, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. But first, for right now, we're just going to pop this in the oven at 300 for, a, we're going to, the goal is 45 minutes. All right, I'll keep you guys posted. And next time you see me, I should have some nice, uh, even golden brown granola. All right, you guys, look what I have. I have some nice toasted granola. It smells so good. It smells like maple and coconut and cinnamon. I cannot wait to try it, but um, I'm not going to stir it or move any of it around yet, as tempting as it might be to like break off a little piece. We're gonna let this cool completely before we break it up into clusters. Um, but this is about what mine looks like now. It's all like, it's it, kind of one solid thing right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make some, some nice granola clusters once this is fully cool. I'm gonna leave it here to kind of uh, cool off. I'm not going to touch it and I will check back in with you guys. And by the way, mine ended up cooking for a, uh, or baking for a total of about 50 minutes. I actually went about five minutes longer than, uh, the recipe you said that was with my oven. Um, it was kind of firm to the touch, a little bit of softness still, but as we, as I pull it out, it's going to continue to bake a little bit and it's continue to, uh, actually then cool and harden up a bit. Um, so we're gonna leave it, we're gonna let it let it do its thing, um, and then we will break it up and then we can try it. So try to be patient. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have our cooled granola in this pan and now it is time to break it up into some clusters. Uh, you can do as big or little clusters as you'd like, but it is nice and toasted. Um, so what I'm gonna do with my clean hands is just kind of start to break this up. Ooh, it's crunchy. And it's breaking, you can see it breaks off into kind of blocks like this, but you can make it into kind of smaller um, little clusters like this. That's kind of what I'm going for, that kind of chunkier style. If you want it a little bit like finer, smaller clusters, you can do that too. It smells so good. And yeah, super duper crunchy. It's really good with like, uh, like yogurt, like vanilla yogurt or, um, just like fresh fruit or something like that. Or if you just want to like eat a big bite of it. <laughs> All right, oh, it smells so good. I haven't tried it yet. I wanna, I'll try it in a second. But I am just breaking these up. You can see just into clusters right into here. And then what I'm going to do is transfer them into a jar and show you guys, I mean, if you wanted to give it as a gift or something, you could make it really cute, um, add a little label. That's what I'm gonna do. But really, it's a gift for myself because I'm going to keep it. So, all right, I'm breaking these up. I'll keep some of these on the bigger side. I like the bigger clusters. That's just like a preference of mine. Okay, so here I have this glass jar here. And I am just going to take my finished chunky clusters of granola and just throw them right in here. And um, this jar is nice. Jars like this are nice with this kind of lid. They keep, you know, the moisture out. They keep the air out. So this will stay nice and crunchy. Um, but that's another reason you want to let this completely cool and dry out before you put it in the jar so there's not moisture in there. Um, you want this nice and dry, nice and crunchy. Add some more. Break it up a little more. A couple more big chunks. more Woo. okay here I go so toasty very crunchy really really good awesome flavor I definitely get that maple in there a very nice easy successful recipe I have some extra in here maybe I'll put that in a smaller jar but for this one I'm gonna pop the lid on 
you guys know I'm extra fancy, so I made a little label. I'm just gonna tie some twine around here. Put my little label on that says granola. If you wanted to be specific, you could say like, you know, cranberry, <clears throat> coconut, maple, granola, or something like that. Um, but I just kept it simple and wrote granola. I'm doing a little bow here. Doo, doo, doo. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much, ta-da! This is my finished granola. You could see like for Christmas or something or like to give to your neighbor or like your grandparents. This is such a cute little homemade gift. It's so good. Who doesn't like granola? Um, and with this granola recipe, you can always add in other stuff. Um, you can add, I opted not to add almonds to this one. I didn't know if anybody had an allergy, so I didn't wanna put that in the kits. You can add sliced almonds to it. Um, afterwards, you can always like toss some like chocolate chips in there. Um, you know, different dried fruit always works really well in this. It's kind of whatever you want. So this is, this one, I mean, besides the coconut and the craisins, this is like kind of a nice baseline granola recipe. But yeah, add it in there, whatever uh, you want. Next time you make it, uh, make it your own. And you can eat it or you can give it as a cute little gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this granola recipe in um, this video. Um, let me know how yours turns out. I wish you the best of luck and uh, happy baking. I will see you next time.